There was an accumulated unhappiness. We see poverty, we see the oligarchic system. Serge Sarkisyan became the symbol of everything that was wrong in Armenia's system. The corruption, the lies. <laughs> The movement started with 10 people, then 100, then 200, then 1,000, then 10,000, then 200,000. Make it better, make it it was the youth coming out, exercising their rights to be citizens in the public space. <laughs> The main source of communication between us and, and the people was social media. Anytime I would feel that something could happen to me, I would just become a journalist with my smartphone and just go live. It was really a revolution for the people, by the people. Women were on the front lines. It was incredible to see that power, the young women standing shoulder to shoulder with the young men. It was an equalizer. A former political prisoner leads a successful revolution. If this was in a fiction novel, I would say, okay, this doesn't really happen in real life. But that's what actually happened.